All right, this time we're going to be introducing a must-have tool if you build those metal 3D kits, and it's offered by the DIY company. This is a wonderful little seven-piece all stainless steel set for different bending and pushing and pulling and twisting of those little metal parts in those 3D kits. Now it doesn't cover everything. This is what I normally use and this is my set of all kinds of cheap stuff that really didn't cost me much of anything. So these are an add-on to what I already have. Now here it gives you a little bit of an idea of the size and the shape of it. There's a rod with a split in it and another one that has a split in both ends and then these little short pieces that are different angles that you can bend things around. Now the long piece works really great in some situations. Makes those bends real nice and straight and consistent. The longer pencil-like event has a slit in both ends. One end is, as you can see here, it'll bend things. The other end is really good for twisting things. And of course you can use them for all kinds of stuff. But they aren't good for everything. I find that sometimes my old pliers are exactly what the doctor orders in this case. And in this case I like my flat pliers to be able to bend them over and flatten them out. So sometimes I use the new tools, sometimes I use the old tools. Of course it's strictly your choice. So what's it going to be? Is it going to be the new tool, which is quite easy to use in some situations, or the old tools? Well, it depends. It depends on the individual situation. Oh no, I almost made a mistake here on the long bend tool. It's not for everything. If I would have used the long bend tool here, I would have bent part that wasn't supposed to be bent. So you got to really look at it. Now what these new tools really shine at are making round things. In this particular case, it's part of a leg. And look at that. Look how nice and smooth that bend is. And of course, there's a number of different diameters and sizes. Well, let's give you an example of how this goes together. Here's one of the models I'm working on right now, taking a flat item and making it very 3D. Now, here's what the piece looks like right out of the backing. It's flat. Now, I did use, well, this is actually a mop handle to get it started, to get the shape going. From there, I used different size of these new stainless steel tools to bend it, make it into the shape that it comes together. Here it is. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Now, does it work for everything? No. Are they good for some things? You bet. You know those little spots you just can't get into? Oh, man, these little tools work the best. So here's what you want to look at, especially if you're getting into those tight little places and it works just great there. Look at that. And as you can see, this tool, the crimping tool, let's call it, can really get into those tight little spots that otherwise you'd have a bugger over time. Now some of the tools come with cones and also rounded areas, so you can really get those 3D parts to look correctly. Here you can see the cone end being used to make, well, a cone. And here's what it looks like, a perfect cone. So these tools can do all kinds of things for you if you're making these 3D metal models. And here's what the flat bits of parts end up looking like. Pretty cool, huh? I kind of found out later that a lot of times if you just want to bend over the tab, it's best to go in from the side rather than the top. And here's another look at all the tools again. Some of them have special aspects, some of them don't. But all of them will certainly help you with these 3D models. They don't do everything. You still have to have the other stuff. But here's what the ad looks like. I strongly suggest if you like building these 3D models, go out there and buy a set of these. They really are worthwhile. Have fun with your modeling.